The next tool we've updated is Hylian, and this is actually the last update for Hylian because it's kind of become obsolete with advancements and After Effects. But it still has the same refreshed UI, so this scales around now, and we have two buttons instead of one. So let me walk you through what these two different buttons do. First of all, just like before, the first button will make a exact duplicate of the layer you have selected with all of its properties linked to the original with expressions. So if I double tap the E key, you're gonna see lots of expressions because there are so many properties on this layer that are all tied back to the source. Now, on its own, this isn't very useful because that's literally just a clone on top of this layer, and I can't move it around because of the expression links to the position or anything, but the original concept for Hylian was basically creating easier mats before we had this new track mat system where you could use one mat for multiple layers, you would need a duplicate of the layer you're trying to mat to for every instance of something that needed to be matted to it. Since that's no longer the case, this feature on its own isn't all that useful. But that's why we added this second button because it duplicates the selected layers with just the keyframed properties linked. So if I click on that, now I'm going to have fewer expressions if I reveal them because just these three three properties that have keyframes on them are what has been linked. So I could bring up the position and move the X position around, and now both of these are going to come up at the same time, expand out at the same time, and I can control both of them using the properties from the original layer. So if I wanted to change the Y position of the left window, it's going to affect the right window. And if I wanted to change the animation controls that I've rigged up for here, it's going to affect both of them. So I could dial this back, expand it up. That's a great new option of Hylian. Another thing we could do with the original button is select specific properties that we want to be linked. So if I wanted just the rotation, I could press R to bring up the rotation, select that property, click the Hylian button, and we've got our duplicate, but the only thing linked is that rotation. So I could move this over here, I could even raise it up on the Y position, and now if I rotate the original layer, the duplicate layer is going to rotate with it. Nothing else is being transferred over or parented between these expression links. All of the original keyframes are still there though, so I could offset this maybe and have these come out at different times. The rotations are just always going to match up. And if I undo back to before I click that button, if I hold down Alt or Option while clicking this button, it's going to exclude any selected properties. So let's say I don't want to link the Y position value. I'll select it, hold Option or Alt, and click on that button, and now everything except that Y position is going to be linked. So I can grab this Y position, move it around, and everything else is going to stay linked up with expressions.